Hi, welcome back to my channel Pi by Me Maths. This is by Juvas Devan. So in this video, I'm going to teach you all the derivative rules, integration rules, and then we will learn some special integral. So you can watch this video if you have completed P1 and P2 differentiation and integration. And if you are taking P3, this is going to be very useful for you. In P1 and P2, we learn only sweet and simple derivative rule. When you have x power n, the derivative of y with respect to x is n x power n minus 1. That's the only rule we learned. You can apply this rule for any power. The power can be anything. Positive, negative, fraction and negative fraction or anything. You can apply this rule. And then if you have just x, the derivative of y with respect to x is 1. If you have a term independent of x, the derivative of y with respect to x is 0. This is what we learned in P1 and P2 differentiation. Now in this P3, we need to learn the rest of the rules for exponential function, logarithmic function, trigonometric function, and then uh, inverse trigonometric function. For all these functions, how are we going to differentiate all these functions? That's what we are going to learn today. So the first thing, when you have x power n, the rule is n x power n minus 1. We have learned this already in P1 and P2. The second rule is when you have the exponential function e power x, the derivative will be the same e power x. And then if you have a power x, the derivative rule is a power x ln a. What's the difference between these two? Here the a can be any real number. The a can be any real number. Here this e is a particular irrational number called Euler's number. That's the difference between these two. So when they put e power x, e is same like pi. Pi is an irrational number. E is also another famous irrational number. So e represents a particular number. You can find this e in your calculator. So when they put a power x or any other alphabet power x, it can be any real number. And then if you differentiate ln x, natural logarithm of x, you get 1 over x. So we have the algebraic function, exponential function and logarithmic function. And then let's look at some trigonometric function. If you differentiate sine x, you will get cos x. The derivative of cos x is minus sine x. And the derivative of tan x is secant square x. Okay. Hear me out. If you are taking Pearson and Excel curriculum, you just need to memorize these rules only. The rest of the rules are all there in your data booklet. You can copy from there. For example, the derivative of uh, secant x, which is secant x tan x. Derivative of uh, cosecant x minus cosecant x cortex. And the derivative of cortex minus cosecant square x. All these rules are there in your data book. So we finished algebraic function, exponential, logarithmic function, trigonometric function and then the inverse trigonometric function. For example, sine inverse x. You can write it as arc sine x also. It's the same thing. Sine inverse x, the derivative is 1 over square root of 1 minus x square. Or cos inverse of x, it's 1 over Square, the same thing as sine inverse, but you put a negative sine in front. And for tan inverse of x, you don't need to put a bracket, just put tan inverse x is 1 over 1 plus x square. These are all the derivative rules. All these rules are there in your data booklet. So you just need to memorize these rules. I think tan x is also there. So you just need to memorize 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rules only. So this is how you differentiate a basic functions. Now the next thing you are going to learn, what if in the place of x, you have a number and x, a constant and x. So the next thing you are going to learn here, let's take a function y is equal to e power x. The derivative of e power x is the same, e to the power x, right? Now let's say you have some number here in the place of x. You have 5x now. If you want to differentiate this, 
the rule is the same but you just need to multiply this by the coefficient of x so dy over dx is going to be 5 e power x so 5 e power 5 x you just write the same thing because the derivative is the same and just put the coefficient of x in front for example i'll give you one more y is equal to second 2x so dy over dx is going to be just put the coefficient of x in front derivative of second x is second x tan x so second 2x tan 2x you just need to put the number in front the number with the x the coefficient of x right just put it in front but the moment you take logarithmic x right derivative of ln x is 1 over x let's say you have ln 3x the derivative would be you need to put 3 in front times because 3 is the coefficient of x derivative of taking as x derivative of ln x is 1 over x so in this case 1 over 3x you cancel you will get 1 over x same as this one so remember this derivative of ln x is 1 over x derivative of ln ax is also 1 over x because that number will be cancelled. Let me take one more example. Y is equal to 8 to the power x, right? The derivative of 8 power x is 8 to the power x ln a. We know the rule, right? What if you have y is equal to 8 to the power negative x? The coefficient of x is negative 1. So you need to put, when you differentiate this, we have to put the coefficient of x first. What is the derivative of a power x? Look at the row. It's a power x, the same thing, times a. So that's a differentiation. Now the next thing, we know when, uh, when you differentiate e power x. So I'm just going to write e power x again. Okay? The derivative of e power x is the same. But if you have a number, 3x, the derivative of 3x is e power 3x is just put the coefficient of x in front e power 3x this is what we just learned right what if you have a linear function not a quadratic function it's a linear function in the place of x for example let's say e to the power 1 minus 2x how do we differentiate this you need to apply the same method just put the coefficient of x in front minus 2 coefficient of x is minus 2 negative 2 derivative of e power x is the same that's how you differentiate it. for example i'll give you one more derivative of second x is second x tan x if you have second 2x the derivative of second 2x just put the coefficient of x in front and then just apply the rule second x tan x in this case second 2x tan 2x what if you have a linear function here second 2 minus 3x how do you differentiate this basically we are what we are doing here is we are applying a chain rule but you don't need to learn about the chain rule you can just apply this method you can apply this method if you have a linear function here the coefficient of x is negative 3 so just put negative 3 in front apply the rule second 2 minus 3x and tan 2 minus 3x that's the rule for logarithm now derivative of ln x is 1 over x derivative of ln 5x we need to put 5 in front 1 over x in this case 1 over 5x so you will still get 1 over x what if you have a linear function 5 plus 2x the coefficient of x is 2, just put 2 in front and derivative of x, take this as x, ln x, so 1 over x. You can write it as 2 over 5 plus 2x. That's how you differentiate it.